Yeah, Reaper back at your ass again, black at your ass again, and we back for another one. But first, we would like you to subscribe to the Reaper because we doing good things and bringing good messages at Reaper. <coughs> and go to our website, jazzbowtoreaper.com, and support your main nigga on the trigger. Now, let's get started today because the Reaper is always running up against it. Um, voting, you know, this is what the Reaper want to ask. Uh, voting, does it change things? Because it's a question, and we want to ask the question today because, you know, the Reaper want to give you the definition of voting to cause someone to gain or lose a particular post or honor, a method of a, a, method of a group to make collective decisions or, or express opinions to elect people in high offices and, you know, to vote them out. Let's see if voting helps, you know, on a national scale. Maybe it helps on a local scale, but the Reaper want to know, does it help on a national scale? I contend it doesn't because, you know, we're going to start with, you know, the president, you know, Trump, Obama, the Clintons and Bushes, you know, do we think people voted them in the office or was they picked out already? Because the perception is with working class people that believe in the system, Trump and the Bushes is for white people and Clinton was for black people. He played his saxophone and, you know, the black churches and he got his penis you know, sucked in the white office. So uh, working class people think they matter and have input into who runs the country or whatever. You know, uh, let's start with uh, Obama. You know, I mean, Obama, you know, was preaching change, you know, I mean, for black people and gay people, you know, nothing for black people. You know, he did. He didn't even meet with black people or black leaders or whatever, you know, discussing issues and uh, you know, urban communities. And what did change was uh, black people getting gunned down, you know, on camera and nobody, you know, uh, going to jail for it. The Reaper keep it 1,000. So, you know, I mean, Obama was preaching change, but 
but you know, nothing changed, you know, too much for you. And it changed for the worse. And people were saying, you know, uh, you know, he's not just the black people's president. He's the president of the United States. But if he's representing that tag of the black president or whatever, he should be able to meet with black people. I don't hear Trump or Bush say they the president of the United States and just not the president for white people. So, you know, I just wanted to know why was that out there? Because, you know, you tend, you know, if he's got the tag, the first black president, you know, and he's preaching change, then he's going to uh, meet with people that look like him, who he's representing, you know, the Reaper Keep It 1000, because that's the tag, you know, that Obama was going by. But, you know, he never met with you know, any of uh, you as black people or whatever, or, you know, and Hillary, you know, when she came in, you know, she wasn't the president, but she ran for president. And a lot of people wanted her to be president because she was preaching equal rights for all people, you know, and she mainly was representing women and, you know, gay people. And that's when the LBGT community, you know, which is mainly lesbian women was coming out and, you know, and, uh, you know, black people was coming out and supporting Hillary. But let's see what Hillary did. Hillary did make up a law where, you know, minors could get charged as adults. And that's why you see kids be putting in handcuffs or whatever. And we know who fill the jail houses and who's the less population, which is black people. And jail is money. So Hillary made it so that, you know, children can get charged, you know, with crimes, you know, when they're they don't really understand or knowing what they are doing. Some of them you know, uh, as adults. So, you know, the jail houses could get money. And then we got Trump, you know, he said, let's make America great again. And, you know, he focused on, you know, people who think in black and white, who think in racism, the Reaper Keep It 1000, the racist people out there. And, you know, a lot of racist people jumped on this bandwagon or whatever. But Trump is for, you know, rich people because he said he didn't want no poor people in his cabinet and he meets with people of all different nations or whatever long as you got green because it's all about green and so he preaches the slogan let's make America great again and we're going to analyze you know uh, the Donald later on and the Bushes you know they preached homeland security and let's protect the, let's protect you know the United States from terrorists and you know that's why you got ID checks and you know airport security and every bill and you walk into you need a badge now and you know and you know that's what he preached and let's make everything American you know I heard people talking about I'm not buying from this country and that country we're going to make everything American and you know they, they, they didn't want nothing from Taiwan or China or anything they would buy even barbecue grills you know I heard some people saying they wouldn't buy from like Walmart or these other places they going you know because they get their stuff from overseas. They was, you know, talking about they were buying American. But, you know, the Bushes was oil barons. And, you know, they used war for money because they said that Saddam Hussein had weapons of mass destruction or whatever. And, you know, and, you know, the United States got weapons of mass destruction. I think every country mostly got weapons of mass destruction. Korea got weapons of mass destruction or whatever. But, you know, I mean, but they didn't have no weapons of mass destruction. I mean, their president was found in a hole with $700,000 after they was looking for him. So they didn't have no weapons of mass destruction. This was all for rich people's investment over there in that oil and everything and you know this is why you know some of the gas prices went up or whatever but well let's analyze what almost 40 years of presidents has done and let's see if voting helps like people think it does or is it a ploy you know to make working class people think they matter and have input into who runs the country let's start with trump you know, uh, Trump plays on the minds of some white people who think white people are superior to any race of people. And no matter what injustices they do, they shouldn't be held accountable. You know, they can murder, rape, steal, kill, lie, cheat and be as evil as they want to be. 
and not give a damn what minorities think. The Reaper keep it 1000 because when you white, you right, no matter if you're wrong, that's two left shoes. That's when, that's what some racist people think in America, you know, and they thought that America was great then. So Trump came out with the slogan, let's make America great again, AKA evil, but it's just a ploy to divide and conquer the minds of people who only think in black and white. You know, what has Trump said racist? I haven't heard Donald Trump say nothing racist. I haven't heard him say anything racist. You know, I mean, you know, he could be racist. I don't know. I don't know the man, you know, but I haven't heard I haven't heard him say anything racist or that he's racist, you know, but people are saying that he racist because he said he was building a wall to stop illegal immigrants, you know, from coming in the, in America. And he said, you know, about kneeling at a football game, you know, if you kneel at a football game, you should be fired, you know. But this was all for money purposes or whatever, you know. I I mean, because the fans, you know, they, you know, people play on racism in America. They didn't want to see, you know, Colin Kaepernick as a black man talking about injustices, you know, in America or whatever at a football game or whatever. And some of these rich people was threatening to boycott it or whatever. And it was affecting sales and everything, you know, with some of, you know, people that buy, you know, football tickets and sponsor stuff to Reaper Keep It 1000. So, you know, but. But he said that there was a place and time for that and you shouldn't be kneeling at a football game or whatever. But, you know, was that about money or was that about racism? The Reaper keep it 1000 because nobody was people were saying they wasn't, you know, going to watch, you know, the NFL and Mexican people and others took what Trump said, you know, about, you know, building the mall or the wall as racism. I call it turmoil. I want Mexican people to think anywhere you go, you know, they want security and control things. They build fences and walls, you know, to keep, you know, uh, people out of places and keep control of who comes in facilities and who comes out of facilities. That's anywhere, you know, that's prisons, that's anywhere in America, you know, the Reaper keep it 1000. But they keep this pot stirred up. They had Trump say it so, you know, it would play on the minds of minorities and racist white people because if you divide the minds of people, you know, poor people, you can't see what rich people are doing to you because, you know, uh, you too busy looking at each other while rich people, you know, uh, laugh all the way to the bank, you know. And Trump said, you know, he didn't want no poor people in his cabinet. You know, he didn't say he only wanted white people because he meet with everybody and every nation who got money to give it 1000 So if you just a working class, you know, Joe or whatever, he don't want to see your ass. The Reaper keep it 1000 you know. I mean, it don't matter whether you're black, white, Mexican, African, Asian. If you a working class Joe, Trump isn't for you, no matter what color you are. The Reaper keep it 1000 because the president is rich people's representative for their investments in this country as well as others and no working class Joe votes them into office with trillions on top of trillions of dollars at stake. You know, I mean, if you don't make, if it don't make dollars, it don't make sense. No matter what race, they don't give a damn about you if you just a working class Joe. You know, the Reaper keep it 1000. And so that's what the Reaper wanted to relate. And I want to ask the question today, you know, because I hear so many people talking politics and everything thing like that, you know, uh, voting, you know, does it change things, you know, does it work for you? And I know that you can vote some things in on a local scale, but does it work on a national scale with a president? Because the president is rich people's representative for their investments in this country as well as others. And, you know, uh, they don't give a damn about a working class person or what they think, but they make people think that, you know, they matter on who runs the country and the president doesn't really run the country. He's just the face like, you know, uh, the face of a restaurant like Colonel Sanders or whatever, the Reaper Keep It 1000. But he is the representative, you know, who conveys things to the general public, the Reaper Keep It 1000 of what rich people want to do and what laws that they make. Because when we 
we came to a recession, you know, uh, white folks lost their jobs, black people, Mexican people, Asian people, African people, poor people lost their jobs. The Reaper keep it 1,000. So if you're poor, you know, uh, you don't really matter, but they had a vote in place to make you think that your candidate got in there and that, yeah, you matter, you know, but when they make up laws and, you know, it comes to a recession, you lose out just like every other poor pe person, you know, that's even a different nation, uh, you know, than you. So why all of this, you know, racism stuff? Now, I like to get to the lady that rides with me, the lady that keeps it 1000, sweet and sassy. Sassy, what's up today? Hey, how you doing? Oh, the Reaper is rolling tough, and, you know, we just trying to make it through a show. What do you think? Do you think that, uh, you know, uh, voting, does it change things, or does it matter, you know, on a national scale, like the president? I don't think it changes anything or matters on a, on a national scale because there's already, you know, people in higher places that make the decision of who they want to be in and who they don't. They say that, you know, in, in politics, your your vote is your voice and your voice makes a difference. But that's not necessarily true because the person that you vote for is not going to automatically win or not going to automatically change things the way you want things to be. You know, people out there think that a particular person they vote for is really going to change the world or change their lives. But as you see, gas prices keep going up, the economy is getting worse, and, you know, crime and violence, everything is getting worse by the day, and nothing is really changing. And are them people really in office to change how things are or make a difference or the world or whatever? Or are they in that office for the paycheck and, and, you know, the living situation or whatever that comes along with it. You know, the Reaper always says that America is corporate. That's why you got a vice president and a president. You don't have a king and a queen or whatever. Like, uh, it's not staged like in other countries. The Reaper keep it 1,000. You got a president and a vice president, and then it goes down from there like a corporation. That's why they call this the land of milk and honey. And, you know, it's all about money. And if it don't make dollars, it don't make sense. So if you just a working class Joe, if you don't make dollars, you don't make sense. And that means that, you know, you go asking for a job and they tell you what they're going to pay you. You're not an entrepreneur and they tell you what time to be at work and what time to take lunch and what time you can go home. And, you know, and most people leave a bill instead of a will. So, you know, and then they try, they give you some things, you know, that rich people have, you know, like housing and cars and stuff like that to keep you working and keep you in debt and make you think you are somebody or whatever, you know, when you or you are getting somewhere and you're getting nowhere, you know, because most people leave a bill instead of a will. If you see some of that, you know, most people be talking about what tripped me out is how some of these ball players have millions on top of millions of dollars or some of these entertainers have millions and millions of dollars and they go broke at the end of the day and, you know, people be, you know, laughing at them and so forth this that and the other but even in a working class situation it's even worse because you go broke at the end of the day and you're going through more changes and everything at work you know than they do and you may have less time to spend than they do you, you hey and most people leave a bill instead of a will because you're getting paid even less money than than them but you think that you know you're on a level where you know you affect something and you know this is why the pot is stirred up that some people is vote for Obama, some people is Trump, some people is Bush, some people is Clinton, some people is Hillary. You know, it's whoever your candidate is, who you like, who you vibe with, with your viewpoints and, you know, your opinions or whatever. The Reaper keep it 1000. And they put these people out here, you know, to say things that, you know, that you want them to say, you know, and, you know, people vote for them. Just like a minister, you know, when 
you come into a church house or whatever, the minister touch on different points. He said you need a financial blessing or you want, you know, your husband or wife to come back or somebody sick in your family, you know, or you on drugs or substance abuse. You know, he touch on different things. And next thing you know, you go, oh, you know, he's the minister for you. And you start thinking he a man of God and you know, giving him your money or whatever, you know, and that's what a president is, a cap presidential candidate. They touch on things that you're passionate about, you know, and most people don't know politics or whatever, so they vote on things they're passionate about, just like Trump, you know. I mean, there's a lot of people that's passionate about racism and, and that's racist and, you know, thinking black and white, so Trump speaks their language to them, you know, the repo keep it 1,000, you know, that, that they think that he speaks to them but you know he's really for rich people just like Obama you know he for black people and change and gay people but he really for money you know <laughs> keep it 1000 you know because the president is rich people's representative for their investments in this country as well as others and they never would let a working class Joe pick that person out with trillions on top of trillions of dollars at stake that's just like taking an in general worker or whatever that works in a warehouse or whatever and making him head president of a fortune 500 company and he has no experience they're not going to do that so they're not going and that's just you know probably billions of dollars at stake so do you think they're going to let you pick the person that's going to represent them and trillions of dollars at stake the reaper keep it 1000 and a lot of people be bickering over this and arguing over this they candidate and they be feeling ill towards each other and it's just to keep the pot stirred up you know to keep you looking at each other and judging each other because you just poor working class people and you be against one another why you keep working and they laugh all the way to the bank the reaper keep it 1000 because you're not trying to build anything credible for you and like I said I didn't see Trump say he, he said he didn't want no poor people in his cabinet. He didn't mention a color. So, you know, <laughs> and when they make up laws and, you know, things that affect the country or whatever, or if it's in a recession, you know, um, you know, everybody loses. Is there anything you want to add on this, sweet and sassy? Everybody loses that ain't got no money. Well, I've heard people actually say, you know, if I would have went out there and voted, you know, maybe uh, this person would be in the office or this person wouldn't be in the office. You don't matter like that, boo-boo. <laughs> and if you want to be a part of something or just have something to talk about, then get in the voting on social media or whatever. You're, you you don't matter that way. What matters is you control the work, you know, your surroundings, what you're going to do today. If you're going to uh, go to work or stay home or go to sleep or wake up, that's what you control. You don't control um, what goes on as far as the president being voted in and stuff like that, so you might as well stop it. Yeah, you know, I see a lot of people, you know, with Trump hats on, just like there was a lot of people with Obama hats on, and, you know, and I'll be like, you don't affect nothing, you know, they're for rich people, you know, either you got money or you don't, you know, but you thinking this is, you know, your candidate and you make a difference, and, you know, people was really getting into arguments about that, you know, and saying that, how come you not supporting Obama, or how come, you know, you not voting? or whatever. I think that, you know, all politicians are liars <laughs> and I, I don't get into politics or whatever, you know, and, you know, I just be just like Asian people do, you know, you should be focused on, you know, working together, you know, and trying to build businesses. The Reaper keep it 1000. I mean, you know, whoever the president is, you know, uh, that's too high up the food chain, you know, for a poor working class Joe to work about the <laughs> keep it 1000 so you know I mean you ain't affecting nothing and you know and you will say you know I see some of these Obama supporters or whatever say Obama 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 will walk by you on the street just like I see some of these people say Trump 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 will walk by your pole behind on the street your working class behind the reaper keep it 1000 so you know you just need to stop or whatever and think in common sense or whatever 
whatever, that you don't affect anything, you know, because you don't have enough money to affect anything, you know. I mean, if you're voting in Obama just because he black or whatever, you're not part of that family that Obama is a part of. And if you're voting in Trump and think that he's going to be with you just because you white, you're not part of that family. <laughs> <laughs> the reaper keep it 1000 you know i mean that's part of a rich family that's got something and you're just a working class poor joe and you're not part of that family if you was part of that family you wouldn't be going to punch that clock you know every day or whatever making peanuts you know uh why corporations you know are getting richer is there anything you want to add on this sweet and sassy well, not really. It's just that, you know, mm -hmm. I feel, like I said, like all voting is uh, rigged or swayed, you know, to, you know, the person that they want to come out on top. It could even be you voting for a high school president, whoever they want to win, that's who's going to win, or whoever they want to make, you know, that difference, is that's what's going to happen. It doesn't go by what you say you know there's higher up people that control it yeah it's kind of like wrestling you know it's all rigged and you know whoever they want to win and whoever their candidate is you know uh that that is who gonna win and a lot of people think that you know they make a difference in this or whatever but they really don't you know because you know that's you know just the way it is you don't have enough money enough power enough pull <laughs> you know, to make, you know, um, you know, a difference in this kind of thing, you know, and a lot of people think they do and they go to work mm -hmm. and, you know, they be arguing and everything and they say you should never talk politics at work or, you know, religion or, you know, anything like that at work because it rubs people the wrong way. But I contend that poor people, you know, uh, you don't make a difference and you don't matter anyway, you know, because you would not be going to work for someone to rob you every hour if you made a difference. Now, I like to get to Sassy's trending topics. What you got on those hot trending topics, you know, today here for the Reaper? Okay, we'll do our celebrity news and start off with R. Kelly. R. Kelly again, Robert. A judge has ordered Kelly to use his royalties from his music career to pay Drea's child support the $20,833 a month. Drea has been coming for Kelly for back child support. He went to jail behind the child support and got everything all caught up. But he's behind uh, bars, so of course he's behind. Kelly wants the judge to cut him some slack. But as of late, the judge has ordered the dough must be drawn from the hefty royalties, and Kelly is scrambling to come up with bail, child support, and a retainer for Michael Jackson's famed attorney, Tom Mesero. Yeah, well, you know, uh, this just goes to show you that we was talking about last week. You got to do your interview process because I bet you that Drea Kelly you know, she stayed with R. Kelly for years and was a backup dancer there and everything. And, you know, and then, you know, he married her or whatever. But it just goes to show you that even if you got kids by somebody, they still will work with people to screw you over. And that's what she's doing. She's working with, you know, people that want to screw R. Kelly over. You know, Drea Kelly is in with them. And even though he got kids by her, she's still working with, you know, the man to uh, screw him over. The Reaper keep it 1,000. R. Kelly will not get out of this one. You know, they're going to take any resources that he, he, you know, that he has away from him to try to defend himself and I don't think he's getting out of jail again. They're going to make sure that uh, uh, even if they have to do it you know, unjustly. What else you got? Okay, we'll go to Fetty Wap. Fetty Wap. He's accused of trashing a L.A. rental home. The smoke smell was so bad that the house had to be repainted. The owners of the mansion are asking a judge to force the master to pay 
$170,954 in damages. Uh, FediWAP is not responding to the suit. They are asking for a default judgment of the entire amount of damages. He rented the luxury home in the Hollywood Hills for 35000 a month. He failed to comply with the rules, one being no smoking. He burned the carpets, the floors, sofas, and fixtures. He had holes in the walls through mirrors off the balcony, and he surren- surrendered the premises in dirty, deplorable conditions. No, oh, that's what they say he done, but that doesn't mean that's what he done. The Reaper keep it 1,000, but... He probably was smoking in there with a bunch of brothers or whatever, you know, uh, getting high. And, you know, Fetty Wap looked like he's on all kind of stuff. Allegedly, the Reaper keep it 1,000. Why would this nigga sign a, a lease that say he couldn't smoke knowing that he smokes all kind of weed? <laughs> and knowing that he going to be smoking in the house. <laughs> I don't know, you know, if he did or not, you know, but, you know, uh, you know, you got to read the, fr- the fine print to rip I keep it 1,000 instead of just saying, ooh, this is a nice house. Let me sign for it. <laughs> so I don't know why, you know, if you are a rapper or whatever, you know, uh, and you know you smoke, why would you sign a lease agreement saying that? You're not supposed to smoke, knowing that you go have brothers in there at the wild parties and be smoking, you know. So if Fetty Watt did this, I hope the owner of the house get his money because, you know, he was too stupid or his representatives was too stupid. He need to fire them for them signing a lease agreement, you know, that he could smoke, knowing that nigga gonna be smoking all kind of dope. The Reaper keep it 1,000. What else you got? Okay, we'll go to Golden Tate. Golden Tate. Golden Tate feels betrayed by Jalen Ramsey after Post went out with his pictures of uh, him and his new Vegas dancer girlfriend on Instagram. Ramsey has a child with Tate's sister and one on the way. Uh, Tate says he's not happy with the disrespect and Ramsey has to see him. He split with Tate's sister to be with the dancer. They say it's um, not the first time that they've had issues, and um, they say only if he got traded to the Lions instead of the uh, Rams, the beef would be the, the beef would have been taken care of and settled much sooner. Well, let let me uh, address you know uh, the men out there today, and especially the young men. You know, um, anytime your sister you know, or anybody that's grown in your family. I could, it could be your daughter, your sister, your mama, you know, because one of you, you know, y'all always trying to act like mama's man or whatever, you know. Anybody that's a woman, you know, in your family, and they're grown, you know, and they're having a dispute with somebody or somebody break up with them and they run to you, you know, uh, they're just using you, you know, as bait to reap a keep it 1000 because this how men kill each other and man has to learn how to process things and you can't be a sucker, you know, like Golden Tate because Golden Tate's sister is suckering him, you know, to do something that she decided to do, you know, uh, with a man, and this is how people get killed, the Reaper Keep It 1000, you know, because even if he, and now let me put the disclaimer in here, any man that put his hands on a woman should go to jail or whatever, but even if he did, why didn't she uh, call the police, why would she call him? You know, this is what you got to say, you know, because if she really didn't want to be with him, she would be calling 911 instead of calling you. You know, if she was really devastated or he beat her up bad or something like that, you know, she's calling you to put fear into him, to scare him. She still wants to be with him, but she wants to control things to a point where he don't go upside her head, but she still wants to be with this abusive man or whatever, the Reaper Keep It 1000. Now, let me put the disclaimer in here. Golden Tate's sister was not hit or anything, and Jalen Ramsey did not hit her or whatever. What Jalen Ramsey did in this story or whatever, you know, he broke up with her, and she was 
pregnant with their second baby and he broke up with her and he went and got with him another woman and he got a supermodel or whatever. They wasn't married or anything like that. And, you know, Golden Tate, she went back and told Golden Tate and Golden Tate said he going to put hands on Jalen Ramsey for breaking up with his sister why she was pregnant. Now, Jalen Ramsey is a pro football player. You know, his sister is still going. Those kids are still going to get taken care of very well. You know, he just got a big contract. Why? is Golden Tate, you know, being a beta wimp, uh, uh, I'm gonna call it a pussy. Golden Tate, you a pussy. You know, why are you being a pussy saying you're going to put hands on this man just because he decided not to be with your sister? Last time I checked, if two people can't get along and they decide they don't want to be with each other, you can't make them be with each other by, you know, thinking you're going to whoop his ass. And this is how men get killed. But this is what, you know, pussies do. You know, they do it, you know, because they're not knowing because women, they, they've been protected. They, I mean, they've been, um, you know, uh, brainwashed to believe they're supposed to protect women at all costs, even when, you know, it's a situation where a man don't want to be with a woman no more. You can't force two people to be together. Uh, Golden Tate should be thinking, what if your sister did not want to be with him? It wouldn't even be an issue whether whether she was pregnant with his baby or not. And people get, you know, people have the opportunity to want to be with somebody or not be with them. This is America. You don't have to stay together. And Golden Tate, by you thinking you can whoop this man's ass, you can't make him stay together in a shotgun wedding. <laughs> 1,000. All you gonna do is get yourself in trouble to go to jail or get killed, you know, because of your sister's choices and she's a grown woman. What else you got? This this dude is a pussy. Okay, we're gonna and they both gonna be mad at you in the long run if they get back together. You know, I mean, they both will be mad at you. <laughs> That's how it go down, you know. You know, you can't jump in other people's business. What else you got? Okay, we'll go to ex baseball player Josh uh, Hamilton. Josh Hamilton. He faces felony charges of injury to a child, a third degree felony. His fourteen year old daughter um, claims she made a comment to him. He got so mad that he threw a full bottle at her, hitting her in the chest. He was cussing and shouting. He pulled a chair from under her, and she fell to the floor. He then grabbed her, threw her on the bed, and punched her with a closed fist and slapped her on the legs with an open hand. After striking her, he said, I hope you go before a judge and tell him what a horrible dad I am so I don't have to see you anymore. He also had issues with another child a month early. Earlier, they say that drugs and alcohol sidetracked um, his career. His wife left him behind it, and he has failed many drug tests and had many suspensions in his career. He's failed many drug tests, had many sus uh, suspensions. He's a woman beater, and...